Welcome. All right, so in this case, what I have is the ln of 2x minus 4 plus ln of 3x plus 2 plus ln of 2. And again, we're doing this problem. You can see that I have addition of three different uh, logarithmic expressions. And so what I can do is I can just condense this down into one, uh, one logarithmic expression by using our product rule of logarithms. So I notice when I have the logarithm plus another logarithm, I can rewrite that as a single logarithm with the product of my two values. So therefore, I can rewrite this as ln of 2x minus 4 times 3x plus 2 plus ln of 2. Now, I can apply the product rule one more time. And I'm going to rewrite the 2 in front, because that's the way we like to write them. So now I, I can multiply this again. So that'd be 2x minus 4 times 3x plus 2. Now, depending on what you're asking, a lot of times you know, we can simplify this further by expanding this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand these two first, and then I'll multiply everything by 2. So by expanding this, I'm just going to use a nice little foil here. So therefore, I'll have ln of 2 times 6x squared minus, um, not minus 8x, let's do 6x squared minus 12x plus 4x minus 8. All right, And then obviously, you can simplify that, that to become negative 8x. So I'd have ln of 2 times 6x squared minus 8x minus 8. And now I can distribute the 2 into each term. So my final answer is ln of 12x squared minus 16x minus 16. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That would be just your um, answer without it being expanded. And there is your um, expanded form. Thanks.